Hi there, it's Adam from The Watch Crowd. We're just going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of last year's 2020 Mountain Glacier Seiko Alpinist and the 2021 New Limited Edition Seiko Alpinist. I'll get them open in a second, quick wrist check. Seeing as we were doing these two Alpinists, I thought I'd bring my Unicorn out, the SPB123. And we may as well chuck that alongside the two of these as we go through it. Thanks. Let's take a look. So let's take a look. Um, genuinely don't know which way around I put these boxes, so I'm going to open this one first. Last year's. Identical size and shape on the outside. Yep, tops are the same. So there they are. This one retailed for 800. You did get the extra strap with the deployment buckle. And then with the new model retails for 720. Yep, yeah, 720. Limited edition to 2021. And you get the little pin badge in this one. I'm not gonna take that out. That's for, the, for our customers to do. Um, yeah, let's start by getting both of these out. I'm going to put these to one side. I can bring them back up in a bit. Shall I take this one off as well? I didn't intend to do a full side by side of the three of these watches. I kind of just wanted to keep it about the the limited pieces. Try to avoid the glare of that um, lamp. There we go. So I'll keep with these two first. The 2021 model is a lot more grey. It's a very subtle difference, but it's very matte in comparison to the Mountain Glacier watch. But again, Seiko do what Seiko do best. And let's just forget about the whole debacle at the moment and just admit that Seiko make absolutely amazing dials for the price. Everything else is obviously going to be the same. Bring mine up. Not really had this one off a lot since I am um, since I've done a trade for it. There's a longer video about this one in particular. So let's turn this over. The one that I've got in my hand is 1,208 of, out of 2,021. We've all got the 39.5mm case size. The calf leather, 
13.2 mil in depth stainless steel case deployment clasp wheel I'll use mine to show that so this opens up and then to put the leather strap through just in case you've never used one it's just a case of popping the pin into place closing that over and before anybody says it the strap is on the correct way around this is how Seiko choose to do it and as you can see when I turn my wrist around that way the Seiko is facing me and it opens up perfectly if it was on the other way around I'd feel like I don't know I do know of a lot of people who change it round but I've always left it alone and never really had an issue with it but yes it's um it's definitely a Seiko thing to put the straps on this way around both watches have the 70 hour power reserve I'll try and bring them up again A decent shot that do you see the difference in them so yeah what's your thoughts on the price Seiko have brought out for this, say it's 720 versus the 800, but you did get yeah. the last year's model, another strap with, like I said, the deployment buckle. This one, you got the pin badge. I'll be honest, I can't really pick one. I don't know which one I prefer best. Um. I think I'm leaning towards this. I like the colour of the leather strap. I think the colour combo of the dial and the strap work a little bit better than this one, but that's just my opinion. Um, again, this one's still nice, but I dare say I'll just leave it on this because they seem to be going with this stitching effect on the leather strap. And I think that's more keeping in with the Alpinist, the current Alpinist look anyway. Um, give us a comment, let us know what you think. Have you bought one? If you have, you can always head over to the Watch Crowd where we have a Facebook group where we can all geek out about our watches. You can find us there. Um, thanks for watching. We'll speak soon.